Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and my floss tube. This is number 15. And if you're new here, my name is Rachel. I go by Rachel Ray on the internet. And today has been a day. Um, it is now 4.30, right? Yeah, it's 4.30 on Saturday. And I went, I've, I have filmed this before. So I apologize if I seem a tad bit annoyed here at the start. But I had about an hour and a half of footage today to share with you all. And it's gone. I set up a new setup, as you can see. Um, I have brought in my old PC, which is a perfectly fine computer. Um, I have a new camera, I have a new microphone, I have a new setup, have everything here, monitor, that's what I'm looking at now, I'm looking at myself, so that's you, that's the camera. And so I had everything ready to go, everything done, and then I went to transfer the files into my phone to edit them, and unfortunately it's saved in a different file type than my editor can handle. It's been one of those weeks, y'all. Anybody else? I'm gonna put a timestamp right here. So if you want to skip the daily life chat with me, because I'm gonna do it here at the beginning this time instead of the end like last time. So if you wanna skip ahead, that's fine. I totally understand and go straight into the stitchy and yarny talk, which is what my floss tubes are about. Uh, right okay so this week oh I'm drinking Rui Boos. Um, I think that's what you call it um, so South African red bush tea with cinnamon it's so good I cannot drink any more coffee today don't let me don't let me I'm afraid of where my mind will go if I drink more coffee um, <laughs> this morning I let out the chooks from their their coop at about 7 a.m. And I went back to go sit in my room. So what my, my daily routine is wake up, let the chickens out, uh, and get them their food, fresh water, and all that. Once I've done all of that, I am wide awake. Because <laughs> I might go outside in just my, you know, my robe and my pajamas with my big old wellies and... Um, and I, I do all of those chores uh, every morning. Now, some mornings James will do it for me, but uh, it's they're my responsibility. Um, so I did that. And also it's his birthday weekend. Uh, tomorrow is his birthday, Sunday and the 5th. And um, I'm trying to I'm trying to let him sleep in and, you know, enjoy it. Um, also, he was up really late last night. So anyway, um, <laughs> I let them out and all that and, you know, did my chores. I've picked, her up, picked up around the house and I've been like gathering all the things that I want to share with you today. Um, and before I started my last attempt at this, I, <laughs> I looked at the window as I was making a cup of coffee. There, right there. And uh, I'll move that because I didn't even realize. And... Um, I look outside the window as the water is boiling in the kettle and there is a legit a swallow banging around inside of the chicken coop because the door had shut. So the door where the food is kept had closed in the wind and locked in a sparrow. Luckily, all the chooks were outside. So they didn't have access to their, you know, normal food, but they peck and scratch and eat bugs and stuff anyway. So they're fine. But that poor swallow was just like, ah, and that's how I feel today. <laughs> that is legit how I'm feeling right now. Um, so apologies for that. This, this is going to be remarkably shorter than that video, but I have a lot of really special stuff to share with you today. I slurp, so if you don't like that, maybe this isn't the channel for you, or just try to ignore it. I'm not editing them. Um, first thing 
If you have to go out in public, please wear a mask. Even if you're not showing signs or symptoms of being sick, it is a good idea. If I wear a mask and you wear a mask, there is almost 0% chance that we will get sick. So um, I am making my own masks that I can wear and my friends and my family can wear. And um, they're cloth. They can fit any adult face and most children's faces. And that is so that if I sneeze or cough, I'll still sneeze and cough like this, okay? But that will get trapped in the mask. And then when I come home, I'll pick it up by the sides, not the front, but the sides, and I will drop it into boiling water and sanitize it. So please, 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 if you can, wear a mask, okay? Just do me that favor, please. Um, in Estonia and other Eastern European countries, they have already, and, and Asia is way ahead of us in that, they've already enforced wearing masks in public. If you're out, if you're outside your house, you have to wear a mask. And I believe that that is the best way for us to get this gone faster. So just my two cents. All right. Um, let us, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it backwards today. I'm going to start with yarny stuff and then I'm going to do stitchy stuff. So if I sent you to this point of the video, um, I'll put a marker here for cross stitching because I want to do it backwards. All of my yarn is here because I just filmed it. Um, I got some haul and I have a finish and I'd like to show you the finish first. The baby blanket for my little sister is finished. So, my sister is not the baby. My sister is having a baby. <laughs> and this is the blanket that I made. Uh, the pattern, I did block it, but it's not really staying. I don't think it matters. I need to weave in ends. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. And it's super cute. It's really good for Easter, I think. So, but the child will not be born until summer. It's a nice, light, breathable acrylic yarn in a light colorway of green, yellow, and cream. And it really doesn't look as impressive on camera as it does in, in real life. Um, it's a nice little lap blanket. It'd be good for when, you know, if mom is burping baby, it might be a nice little, just a little blanket for, for the child. And I know that my camera washes out when, when I show that blanket and I don't know why. Sorry. Um, okay. So that's over. <laughs> so let me just try to fix it. All right. Isn't this the most adorable mug? I love the feet. TK Maxx. Great find. I want to buy more. Okay. So I finished that on Saturday, last Saturday after the floss tube. Um, last Saturday was really fun because me and my friends, uh, we got together on Facebook Messenger and we kind of did a group chat hangout video session and that really helps. So if you're alone, because I see you, if, I, if you're alone in all of this, reach out, don't be alone. Because a lot of people are getting together online now and like tonight, me and my friends are having a game night and we're going to be playing like um, Jackbox games, jackbox.tv and other games like their Cards Against Humanity is free online right now and stuff like that. So there's lots of stuff you could do. You could get together with your stitchy group or your nitty group and just just to chat and to talk to one another and have some laughter because right now is really hard. 
really hard and I talked all about that and I let it all out and now it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's never to be seen again. Excuse me. My whip. Look at it. It's so little. Um, I am doing the, I'll find the name of it because I just had it. Oh, look, and my friends are starting their chat now. Um, documents. No, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Bear with me, please. I was showing you a t-shirt, a free pattern of a t-shirt that I just did. Okay. So this is called the Burnett, which is like a, a brand. Burnett Baby Sports Staggered Squares Blanket. So if you want to do this or if you you know if you wanted to do it with me or if you want to do it for someone you know it's number 458 on their website that's what it looks like come on camera it's a bad picture but i think you get the idea it almost looks like a cable but honestly i have no idea what it's going to look like because that is the best picture i can find it's the the picture that's on the website it's slightly advanced, but not really. It's got like two ticks out of four. So beginner, I guess. Beginner, intermediate-ish. And let me put that to the side, but not too far to the side because my husband called me not long ago and I imagine that he'll try to call me again. I'm sure he wanted to know if I wanted anything from the shop. He's so sweet. So I'm doing that blanket and try to imagine in a fade. I'm doing it in a fade, starting with the darkest and going to the lightest. Woo so hopefully it'll look cool. <laughs> I have high hopes for it. I know it'll be stripey in the end, but you know what? It's for a child, so it's fine. I'm sure they will appreciate it. Oh, and so I guess <laughs> you can tell what my baby sister's having. Yes, she's having a boy so excited so I have just finished the bottom border part and now I am moving on to the main pattern exciting haul <laughs> I had all the haul and I talked about all the haul and then I showed you there's this video that I wanted to share with you about me unboxing this stuff and then I was like mm, I can just show them so first thing big treat for me is an ever tote bag It's a medium wedge tote from Evertote with a notions bag and some lunifer. So it comes together. Do you see the pattern? Look how cute. So adorable. It has a nice navy blue, dark blue bottom, like 929 color. And then it also came with a stitch marker. It really doesn't like me today, y'all. Something something to do with the, the lighting outside. Uh, it, it almost got there. It's a clock. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know. Please ignore that. Uh, why, why it's throwing me into light, I do not know. Um, but it's a gorgeous print. This is from Caroline. If you know her floss tube, she's off the grid needle arts. She's awesome. She's doing daily videos. I watch her every day and I look forward to her videos every day. And she has her own business where she makes these beautiful knitting bags and she also makes flat bags for cross stitching. So please check her out. This was a limited edition one, uh, I think. And it's just stunning. And the inside, I meant to show you better. It's just a bucket, you know, it's just a wedge. So the idea is that you can, and this I will be doing today, um, cleaning up after myself, because you should have seen after my last floss tube. Oh my goodness, the cleanup was unreal. I actually had to leave it for Monday, because Sunday I was out of, out of business <laughs> all day. So that's how that works. And it fits two balls, or two skeins. So that is that. Then I also purchased, so I purchased the, the yarn uh, for that, and that is a 
Honestly, it's just like, um, it's called Price Wise from King Cole. I purchased this from Bantry Yarns in Cork or West Cork and Bantry. And um, this is just their, I asked, I asked them for a hundred percent acrylic for a baby blanket. And I was able to order this online and have it shipped to my house. So thank you very much, Bantry Yarns. I'm so excited to do this. And I'm not sure, no. I thought maybe it came with a pattern on the inside, but it doesn't. But it was only like two euro fifty a skein, so that was nice. Uh, the next thing, sorry about my camera. I don't know. Would this help? Maybe. We'll see. Is this bag? This is a knitting tote from my cottage number nine. Not only does it clamp shut, but it has handles as well, like that. It looks super cool. And then on the inside, it has pockets. Two pockets and a pen holder pocket. This is really well constructed. Um, and I really especially love the handles on it. And look at the print. Is that not the most adorable thing ever? I love the houses. Looks so cute. Not only that, but she has her own tags and everything. And she gave me a personalized note with it to say thank you. Which is always appreciated. Um, so that I found on Etsy. My Cottage number 9, N09 on Etsy. My husband just got home, so I can start over again. So, um, haul for yarn. Aside from the things that I picked up for my new project, the new blanket, I did receive a bunch of these. So I got, I think I got two more of these Audine Woods by Creative Grandma at Knit Crate. So if you've seen my Knit Crates before, sorry it keeps blowing out, I don't know what to do about that. Um, if you've seen my knit crates before, this was January's knit crate, I think, and I really wanted more of it. I think that it would make an excellent little girl's shawl or something like that. Um, so I got more of them, and I also, I think you can see it, that lower basket there, I also got the chill out version of the alpaca yarn. Okay, so um, this is the original one that I got it's so soft. Um, this one is La Lebri Light Alpaca in Dogwood Berry. 100% baby alpaca and 100 grams of 365 meters. So they recommend a really small needle for this, obviously. Um, and so what I did was I got the other color which goes really, really well together. And I thought I could make a Christmas throw blanket. Now, because the the needles would have to be incredibly small for this, it's gonna be very heavy and warm. And it kind of smells like a farm as well, <laughs> but I like it, I like it a lot. So those are from Knit Crete as well. Um, I bought this box one more of these and one more of those, I think, or more of them. I don't remember in what quantity. Next is really exciting because I subscribe to the Witcher Yarn Club. I'm in the six month club by Curio Yarns, who's Ellie here on YouTube. And la the first month came out for February and that was Yennefer de Vengeberg. And it's really, really pretty. You can see all the color. I have to get really close for it to focus. There we go. All those pretty purples, teals, and grays. And this month, the character that she's focusing on is Geralt, who is the main character of the show. So if you don't watch The Witcher, um, sorry about my husband coming in and out. Um, I told him that I'm recording. Um, if you haven't seen the show, 
I don't think you would understand, but these colors really go with his character. He wears a lot of black clothing. His hair is silver, silvery white, and his eyes are that yellow color there. And it's just spot on, Ellie, spot on. So I don't think that you can sign up for the Witcher Yarn Club any longer, but if you're interested in her yarn, I'm going to show you more of her yarn. I will have her, Etsy, her not Etsy, her shop, her website down below, uh, Curio Yarns. So here are the other two that I bought because I knew that I had one coming anyway. I thought that I would just go ahead and support her because, you know, it's really important to be supporting the people who are who have small businesses right now, really important for them to stay afloat. And I want her to stay afloat. So this one is called Lithium. This is a 100% superwash merino with high twist fingering. Can you see how, tw how cool that is? How twisted that is? So it's even more twisted than the normal one. And then I got this one as well, so they could go together. And this one is called Alien Sex Fiend, <laughs> whereas this one is called Lithium. Aren't they cool together? I absolutely love the color combination on these. I think, I think that this would make an excellent shirt or tank or something, you know, Though the, I do have a pattern for a really beautiful shirt, which I was showing you all. It's called Graceful. It's from Expression Fiber Art. I'm sorry, I can't link everything, but um, if you follow Expression Fiber Art, uh, she has a lot of free patterns on her website. So I think that this would look really good as a shirt. Does it go with my coloring? Maybe with my hair, I don't know. So those are really exciting. I got all of those yarns this week. And I think that is it for knitting and sewing. I'm pretty sure. So since we're going backwards, backwards, now I'm going to tell you the winner of the card. So last week in my floss tube, I showed you the giveaway price. So that is this sweet card collection from Doreen Jones. And it also comes with three silvery charms. So I went ahead and I used the random, the YouTube random comment picker to find a winner. And I double checked to make sure that that person had filled in my happy mail form. And the winner for last week's giveaway is Lynn Allison. Lynn Allison from Salt Lake City. Thank you so much, Lynn. This is for you, and I'm going to send it your way on Monday. So that's really exciting. Um, I will tell you what I'm going to be giving away this week, this, this time, in a little bit. I'm going to talk about stitching first. So let's go to... <laughs> and then I'll talk about whips and yeah, we'll do everything backwards. This was an auction win from Lollipop Stitches on Etsy. So she decided that she was going to raise money for dementia and dementia is a cause that I am, well, it's, it's an issue that I'm really familiar with. Um, so I decided to participate in the auction and I just happened to win. I think I left my my thing overnight. And I was actually shocked that I won because I thought someone someone would surely outbid me. This is a bendy flip, a big one. Uh this is 25 24 pockets and it's so well made. There is Basically, you could put your bobbins in there. There's felt in there that'll hold it secure underneath the vinyl. And so you can see all my bobbins here. I've already kitted up a project. Do you know which one it is? <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not fully kitted up yet, but um, I'm. I'm close. So uh, that is a piece of haul. 
as well as, and I'm, I'm making sure that I clean up as I go because I have this horrible thing of like when I do floss tube, I like pull out all the things and lay it everywhere. I, I have to leave the yarn there though. Um, the other things that I kitted up, I'm looking, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. I have to order some floss today. I bought a lot of fabric, you guys. I, I did. And I'm going to wait until it comes in to talk about it because I was here for 20 minutes talking about it and I'm just, I can't, not today. Not after all this and it's already 10 past five. I need to edit this and get it up. So, um, peppermint purple. This, I want to be very careful with the pulls on this. The bag is from Patchwork Paw Print on Etsy. And this is how far I've come on my peppermint purple SAL. SAL stands for Stitch Along. And essentially each week, one of these blocks is filled in. Needle Minder is from my Etsy shop, which is currently down until we're at the point where we can mail stuff again. But anyway, um, focus, focus. Isn't it just beautiful? I love it. I love black work so freaking much, you have no idea. And it takes my mind off things. So I'm really liking it. I'm doing it in the called for DMC colors. And I'm doing it on 14 count white Ada. And yeah, I, I, um, what's the word? Surged, hemmed, sewed, sewn, soon. Uh, the edges with red thread because why not? I like to be happy when I stitch. So that's that. And I was saying before, I was saying that it's really fun with the floss away bags that every time I finish a week, I can put that color away. So it was really nice to catch up on that one. So that one can go back into the bin where I hold things until I'm ready to work on them again. Uh, next up is actually kind of a finish. Sorta, sorta, kinda, sorta, kinda, really not, not, not really. So I finished uh, my snake. Why doesn't it want to focus on this? Sorry, y'all. Hmm. Here we go. This little cute guy I'm calling Mr. Slithers. Isn't he adorable? Trying to hold him straight. Um, directionally challenged. So I finally finished the snake. The snake is completely finished. And he's so cute. Um, this project, hello. Oh gosh. Trying to bring back the focus. Yes, sort of. Um, stop it. <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> I just swat away whatever was happening there. This is the Letters to Hogwarts Harry Potter Stitch Along. It's called the Stitch Your Own Adventure. Sorry, I don't know why I, I had a moment. And basically well first of all this is 20 count ada in the color flagstone can you see it it's a light lavender kind of color lavender gray by the crafty kitten craftykitten.co.uk and flagstone is the color of the fabric it's available on her website just know that it will take a while to be dyed and sent because the big C word. <laughs> anyway, um, the idea is that every two months, a new letter, that's what this is, parchment letter, 
gets released. And so the first letter was your house banner. So in in Harry Potter, there are four houses in the school of Hogwarts, and I am a Slytherin. So when you know how, you may or may not know this, but I started this project before on 18 Count Ada, and I absolutely hated it because I stitched two strands over one thread, which means one of these squares had two strands, and it was slightly bigger than this is, but it just looked bulky and my thread kept twisting and it just looked horrible. So I repurchased the fabric and started over. So as you can tell, if you are doing this, you know that there's a frame, there's a, a banner at the top with two owls, a train and a mountain with the school on it. Um, I'm finally, finally, almost finished with letter one. So my plan is to do the, do black work behind the snake because I want it to, if it'll come back and not be washed out. I mean, I appreciate it, but not really. I kind of look like a ghost right now. Hello. Um, anyway, yes. So that is Mr. Slithers and I love him. And it's not to diss the original creator, Stuart Cunningham. Um, it's just that his idea of Stitch Your Own Adventure has created so much artwork out of it and, and creative thinking. And for me, as a Slytherin, <laughs> when I look at it, I see a frame for my own creativity. And therefore, I may even go off pattern for the next letter. Just because I like where he's going with it, but I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the idea of it and I'm enjoying the frame and everything. And I like watching people's progress and everything, but I love cute things. <laughs> I just want it to look as adorable as possible. So anyway, there's that. That is that. And I told myself, I would replace needle minders today. So my needle minder is the mirror of Elris, Elsed, Elrised? I can never remember the name of it. Anyway, that's my needle minder for this project. And it's my first time using gold needles. Why gold needles? What's the difference? Do they like not tarnish as quick or something? I don't know. Okay, next. Ooh, next is Grimm. Grimm's Fairy Tales Stitch Along. I'll try to be as fast as I can, I promise. Um, this is by Clouds Factory. It is a year-long sal, just like the other one. Just like both of them. And this is where I am right now. Hello? There we go. Uh, so, you can see the shadow of the house. But, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I did fix the donkey. That's what I did last night. It was insane. Okay, so a little bit about this piece, if it'll focus. Um, this piece of fabric is called Olive Oil by Barbaral Creations on Etsy, and it is a 16 count Ada. So I'm using two strands over one fabric thread, which means one hole. So I'm when I'm stitching, I have two, two strands that are being laid down at a time. So in total, one full X has four strands. Does that make sense? Anyway, the way that they do it is they count two strands or one strand, two, two, one. And I always do over one. I've never done over two which would just make the picture bigger. Anyway, um, so I'm redoing it and I will like it. <laughs> um, so since since I started, cause I started later, hello. Uh, since I started later on than a lot of other people, I'm really, really far behind and I'm being a big boo-boo and I had to rip it all out, so whatever. But I really like what's come out already, and James really likes it as well. So remember, 
the it's right behind me chaotic stupid is not in alignment he loves that um he also loves this one so this one will probably get framed too uh i want to catch up on this so i want to make this a priority this week because i really got kind of down with it because i had to rip so much um ripping out a project makes me not like it <laughs> so yeah um I'm going to work a lot on this and love every minute of it. I'll still remember this as the project where I ripped out all the letters and everything to Tiger King on Netflix. Tiger King, y'all? Have you seen it? It's good. It's funny. Eventually, I had to stop watching it. I think it was two episodes before the end where I was just like, I can't handle this amount of crazy in one show. It doesn't seem real. All right, next up is Galaxy Unicorn. This one does not like to focus at all, ever. Oh, it focused. I think because I put my fingers there. Um, yeah. Isn't she beautiful? I did all of DMC 823 for this update. And... I might as well show you the whole thing. This is a piece of 18 count. I hate it, but I love it, but I hate it. Um, 18 count galaxy opalescent fabric from Mystic Fabrics, who is Misty. And Misty does an excellent job. I love her fabric, um, obviously. And I only need that much, really. Not even. But I chose... I chose the placement on the fabric where I wanted it to be, where I thought it would stand out the most. I'm not sure if I did the right thing, but hey, whatever. Um, and it's using the called for DMC. I bought this, well, I did, sorry, no, 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 I take it back. I was gifted this pattern. It was purchased on Etsy by Cats Crafts and Coffee, but that store does not exist anymore. But if you search for Galaxy Unicorn on Etsy, you will find it or something incredibly similar to this so check it out um one thing i've learned with this piece is that i find opalescent fabric really really difficult to deal with and i would highly recommend using a grime guard while stitching because it's really sharp and not very comfortable but i did do a lot of stitching on that and i really enjoyed it all right, last piece, and then I'll be done for the day. The last thing that I worked on this week is my Heaven and Earth design, Max Color Soul of the Rose by John William Waterhouse. To give you an idea, let me put my finger there first. The tip of this red roof upward if it'll focus, is what I have done. That's it. That's all. So I am, I am about to hit a huge section of 310. I can tell that. So exciting. If I can stitch just one color for a while, that would be nice. But this is how far I got. Mm. I am doing this on 25 count easy count Lugana from Amazon and I'm using the tent stitch or half stitch where I don't do a full cross. I just go in one direction all across the fabric and it looks thick enough to me. The coverage looks good to me. So that's how I'm going to keep it. And I am doing the parking method. Um, I showed a mini tutorial on my live stream on Wednesday. If you're interested in learning how to park your threads and how to use Pattern Keeper. Which, full disclosure, not every pattern, not every designer is on Pattern Keeper. And not every pattern will work with Pattern Keeper. And also, it's not a free app. It is free for the first 30 days. And after that, it's not. Amy, your comment was very thorough. Thank you very much. Um, you should know that. If you didn't know that, I didn't 
really even think to say that, but it is true. Um, I purchased Pattern Keeper because I'm working on a heaven and earth design and it, it is a lifesaver to me. Um, for other patterns, geez, Louise, come on, give me a break. Sorry about the camera, y'all. It, it's late now, so it's having difficulty. Clearly, hi, baby. Um, and we're almost done anyway. Um, I would not do a heaven and earth design without pattern keeper, period, ever. Nope, not happening. Hi, baby, you wanna come up? Um, I'm gonna let her come up. And I'll tell you what this week's giveaway is. Come. Up. Good girl. This is my dog, Luna. Say hi, baby. <laughs> she's, she's like, um, maybe I didn't want to do this. Hi. You're stinky. I have to give you a shower. Okay. So. I'll let her down. Ooh. That's not what you wanted. This week, I would like to share with you a another chart that I think is adorable. Yeah. And I kind of gave a teaser of this in the flip through. So last week, I did a flip through of this magazine, The World of Cross Stitching, which is a British uh, cross stitching magazine, a, well, UK. Based, right? It has really cute stuff in it. And one of the really cute things is this one. So this is a bearded dragon from Doreen Jones. And it's it's small, but it has ten colors. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten colors in it. And I think it's just super cute. And I know a lot of you out there are reptilian parents. <laughs> and so I want to give this to you all because I don't have one. I don't have a reptile in my life. And, um, and I think that someone else would really appreciate this. So if you would like to stitch this chart, please do not write giveaway anywhere in your comment because it gets deleted. So do not write it. Please write, I would like to stitch the dragon, D-R-A-G-O-N, is how you would spell it. And the reason I say that is because if you misspell dragon, then the random comment picker will not find your comment. So that's why. You can write bearded dragon, dragon lizard, but dragon needs to be in your comment somewhere for you to be chosen. You could even say something else about dragons. You will be entered into it. I hope you understand what I mean. So Cute little dragon. For whoever wants it, please uh, submit your comment before the, is it the 11th? Before the 10th, 11th, I will be choosing on the 11th in the morning Irish time. So please do that. Okay. And that's it for me today. I had a really long spiel at the end of my last video, and I won't do that to you today, but I will read you the poem if I can find it. Bear with me. I have buried it underneath all the yarn, <laughs> of course. Okay, so this is the, the book that I read at the end of my gloss tubes, Second Sight by Patty Bush. He is a local poet. He lives in Waterville, which is down the road from me. So you can check him out. You can um, look at his books online on Amazon or... Thank you. Focus on my face. <laughs> um, and this is called A Raucous Note to Cahal. And Cahal is a person's name. A man's name. All right. A Raucous Note to Cahal. In Kathmandu again, with those familiar crows circling overhead, I'm reminded once more that the Gaelic cog is the same bird as cag here. And I guess that any crow would surely recognize another vengeful crow at no matter what distance. And they would find common and deep satisfaction in plucking the malign eyes of any wicked witch clean out of her head in any language on earth. 
I don't know what the thing with the crows and the witches is, but hey. So that was written Kathmandu, 15th of February, 2018. The next poem is very um, Easter-y. So uh, Mother Earthy. So yeah, look forward to reading you the next one as well. Thank you all so much for tuning in to my floss tube today and spending some time with me. I hope that it was fun for you and that you enjoyed seeing some new stuff next time. I'm sure that I'll have some awesome stuff to share with you as well, or at least a lot of progress. That's all I want. <laughs> so with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week ahead, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye! <laughs>